Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, it'll be another episode of Talk Black, Shop Black. And today, I'm going to be reviewing some products from a black-owned brand called Coils Paradise. Yes, we have some products to try out. I actually had these products for a few months now. I ordered them a while ago, but I'm finally giving them a try. And I got some bomb results, so make sure you stay tuned to find out all about it. Um, I will leave all her information down below. And if this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the fam, and let's get right into this review. I know my place, and we good over here. True to myself, and we live with no fear, so. So this is a small black owned business. Um, I follow them on Instagram. She has a plethora of different products. I picked up two of her products that I was really interested in. Um, this one is the Coco Biscuits Deep Conditioner and this one is the Mango Emma Forest Styling Cream. Now she does have a leave-in conditioner, she has oils, she has a bunch of different stuff. She has shampoo bars. But these two um, are the ones I really wanted to try, so I'm going to be trying these today. So I'm about to go wash my hair. My hair isn't too, too dirty, but I'm going to go shampoo it, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to go right into the deep conditioner. Uh, so I just shampooed my hair, and now I'm about to go in with the deep conditioner. I'm so excited for this deep conditioner. This is the Coco Biscuits Deep Conditioner. So let's see. It doesn't really smell too much like anything. I'm so excited for, like, a strong smell, but it smells... Uh, I don't really know what her biscuit smells like. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have to. It's not really. It, it's not a bad smell. It doesn't really smell like much, to be honest. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. It's really thick, y'all. Like real thick. Okay. You probably need to make sure your hair is more wet to even distribute this. So let me get my water bottle. So I'm just gonna spray my hair. I just sprayed my hair a little bit just so it can help um, evenly distribute this, but let's get right into it. And it's really creamy. So a little bit about Coils in Paradise. It was founded by a young black woman named Leslie. She began to make products and concoctions for her hair ever since high school up until now. And she used to share all her results via her Naptastic Coils blog and her Instagram hair page. So she created her hair brand based on organic ingredients that work in natural hair, as well as the value of God and her brand overall. So Coils in Paradise is a faith-based black brand and they also focus on using quality ingredients that are beneficial to the health of your hair. Alright, so first impressions, I don't really know if I'm gonna like this. Unless it just um, really digs deep into my follicles while sitting here. Um, okay, it's like, okay, it's really thick obviously like I said. Um, it doesn't really have much slip, which it's not really that much of a problem, but I don't feel like it's going into my hair. Like, it's just kind of like sitting on top. And, like, my hair is, it feels soft. I don't, I just don't have a feeling that it's going to really penetrate into my strands. Like, I don't know. And the feel of it, like, going through my hair, it's not like my hair feels like, oh my god, my hair feels so good. Like, my hair just feels okay. This is what my hair looks like up close. I mean, my hair looks moisturized. I mean, if your hair is already detangled, you can detangle. My hair is not really tangled, so I am able to pretty much detangle for the most part. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes. I don't know, it feels like it's drying up too. And I feel like I had to use a lot because since it's not really penetrating my strands, like I just had to use a lot. All right, y'all, so it has been 30 minutes. I put a plastic bag on my head and I put my scarf over it to just generate a little bit of heat. So let's see what my hair is feeling like. Ooh, so this is what it really up close. It feels so soft, y'all. Wow. It feels a lot better than it initially did. Like, you really have to let it sit. And I think, like I said, a heated cap will be like 10 times better, but if, oh, wow. 
it feels amazing. It feels really good. Can you just tell that it like actually soaked into my strands? I like it. So I'm actually about to take a shower, rinse this out. I'm gonna put in my leave-in before I come back on camera because um, I have her styling cream. So I'm just gonna put in a leave-in while I'm in the shower and then we'll come back and put a little bit of oil and style and we'll see how this comes out. So I put my leave-in conditioner in. Um, I used the Tora Amore uh, leave-in conditioner, the Pichonato. I'll link that video up in the cards, but um, I just put the leave-in conditioner, so I'm gonna put an oil on my hair. I detangled it in the shower. My hair felt okay once I rinsed out the deep conditioner. Um, it wasn't as soft as it was when it when I had it in, but it still felt, felt okay. Um, and my hair feels soft now. It feels nice and moisturized. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in my hair. This is the Vineyard Curls Oil. I'll link that video as well. All right, so this is the Mako Mafora Styling Cream. It really doesn't smell like nothing. It smells kind of like shea butter a little bit. Um, and this has a thick consistency as well. So we'll see. My hair is wet, which is good. So I think I'm gonna just do um, big braids. All right, so I'm just gonna do medium sized braids. I'm gonna do the back and then I'll come back to you guys and let you know how I feel about it. I know I keep saying this, but it's just the growth for me, y'all. All right, so I really like this styling cream. Like, um, it's very creamy. You don't need a lot. Like, let me show you how much I used. You see, I really didn't use too much. Like, I really didn't use that much. A little bit goes a long way. I don't know if the combo of my leave-in and this made it really bomb, but um, I really, really like it. Um, and I feel like the vibe I'm getting right now is this would be a really good refresh your hair type of cream too. Or just during the week when your hair is really dry like this is bomb now but i feel like it'll be really good when your hair is just dry and needs some moisture um it feels really good it makes my hair just moisturized so it feels good my twists look nice and moisturized obviously i put a lot but it's gonna soak in i have low porosity hair so it's gonna take a little minute but um i have good feeling about this hey guys so it is two days later my hair is completely dry so i'm gonna take this down and style it and then we'll talk about the products
all right guys so this is the final look i like how it came out it feels so moisturized y'all like it feels really good my hair doesn't feel dry at all it's nice and soft like it's so soft and it's nice and fluffy um braid outs usually make my hair like really fluffy honestly it's, i don't really worry about definition but i really really like it my hair looks nice and full my final thoughts on these two products so the coco biscuits deep conditioner it was okay um i don't think i would buy this again but i will use this um throughout the time i have it obviously but um it really just depends on what type of deep conditioners your hair likes my hair likes thick conditioners but not necessarily this slip this thick and for me i need a little bit more slip this is kind of like I don't know how to explain it like obviously it's not a dry product but you ever had something that's really thick and creamy it doesn't have any slip and it doesn't have any wetness to it so it's kind of like your hair definitely has to be wet to try to absorb some of this product but I do think it's a really good product especially if you have a deep conditioning cap you saw me put the plastic cap and my scarf over it and that generated a little heat and you can definitely feel the difference but this definitely is probably a better conditioner when you sit under a dryer or have a heating cap on to really get it to penetrate into your strands um, but for me it's okay and now this product this one I really like and this one I will buy again so this is the mango mafora styling cream like I said it's not really a smell but this is what I'm talking about okay it's it's thick and it's creamy but it's wet like it's a wet it's more of a wet product and I can see me putting this on dry hair and it will still moisturize my hair and not sit on top like I said I haven't used her her leave-in conditioner but I used a really thin leave-in conditioner under this and it worked really really good um, it's kind of like it's kind of like a butter a little bit it's kind of like a whipped butter so it feels really nice it seals in all that moisture so however you do your LOC or LCO method just Make sure you put a really good leave-in conditioner under it or their leave-in conditioner and it'll seal it right in. Like I feel like this is perfect for me, especially in the winter time. Like this, this is it right here. But I really love this. This is really a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, yeah. So I will leave all the information down below. Make sure you guys check out Coil's Paradise. Her products look so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Talk Black, Shop Black. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. And don't forget on Tuesdays we'll be back with another video. I always say we like. <laughs> it's just me, y'all. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You know my people wake up in fear. Cause y'all be running the muck like you don't give a fuck and you care.